Hello, my name is Dylan Fallen and I'm, in, I'm a math instructor at Dodge City Community College. And today I'd like to show you how to solve this equation. 8x minus 6 equals 1 minus 6x. We want to solve this equation for x, which means getting x by itself on one side of the equation. The first step in accomplishing this is to get all terms with an x to one side of the equation. This can be done by adding 6x to both sides of the equation. In doing so, we will eliminate x from the right-hand side. So when I add a 6x to the right-hand side, the minus 6x is eliminated. So all the terms with x get eliminated from the right-hand side, but the rule is if we add 6x to the right-hand side, we have to also add 6x to the left-hand side, and so it pops up over there on the left-hand side. Combining like terms, we end up getting 14x, right? 8x plus 6x is 14x. The minus 6 just gets copied down. And on the right-hand side, with the 6x's canceling each other out, we have just a 1 left over. All right. Okay, step 2. Next, we must get all constant terms to the other side of the equation. Again, we're trying to isolate x, get x by itself on one side of this equation, and so the 14 needs to go and the minus 6 needs to go, and the easiest way to accomplish that is to get rid of the minus 6 first by adding 6 to both sides of the equation. All right, so that'll be our next step. We will add 6 to the left-hand side, and that will cause the minus 6 to be canceled out. But the rule has us, the same rule we just used in the previous step, requires that we also add 6 to the right-hand side to keep the equation balanced out. Right. So what results from that is we end up getting 14x by itself on the left-hand side, because the minus 6 is now gone. And on the right-hand side, we'll combine like terms 1 plus 6, which gives us 7. Now to get x completely isolated, we need to get rid of the 14, which is being multiplied to the x. To get rid of or to cancel out a multiplication, we will have to use division. And so we will divide by 14 to cancel out the multiplication by 14. Right, so if you divide by 14 on the left-hand side, you have to also divide by 14 on the right-hand side. Okay, and we end up with the 14's canceling out on the left hand side and so what drops out of that is just x by itself which is exactly what we were trying to do. Right, so we get x completely all by itself, 14's are gone. On the right hand side we end up with 7 over 14. 7 divided by 14 and of course 14 is too big to really divide into 7 but there is one thing that we can do with this result we can, you probably guessed it already, reduce the fraction. Right, so how can we reduce this fraction? Well, we can divide a 7 out of both the top and bottom of this fraction. Right, so we have 7 over 14. So we can divide a 7 out of the top of this fraction. Right, so if we divide a 7 out of the top of this fraction, we end up with 1. Right. So let's see what color do I want to use here. There we go, black. Right. And if we and then but to keep the fraction equivalent, we have to also divide a seven out of the bottom of this fraction as well. So fourteen divided by seven, which will give us two on the bottom. All right. And so our final answer is going to be x equals one half. Thank you.